Hey guys, it's early morning and um, I want to build a very simple, fun and easy antenna. I think this should be the first vertical every new ham builds. It's, it's just a resonant, wonderful antenna. It's quarter wave vertical. I'm going to build one this morning for uh, the 20 meter band. Um, so there's a lot of things to this uh, and there isn't. It's simple to build. All you need is some wire, a pole, a way to mount the pole and um electrical tape and a tape measure to measure it and then put it all together. Um, there's two ways to build this antenna. Uh, probably the best and easiest way is just with a banana clip, a simple little banana clip. Um, I like to use a one-to-one -one balance. Some people like to disagree with this process saying it's not a balanced antenna. It works. It works well when I use balance on, uh, for a quarter wave vertical, a one-to-one -one balance. So um, that's what I'm going to do today instead of using the, uh, the banana clip. I've built it with the banana clip and had some great success. Um, Couple things um, with this. Um, if you're building this on uh, land, which most of you probably will in your backyard or whatever, or at a poda park or whatever, four or five counterpoise wires, about five meters plus. Uh, it doesn't matter. The length doesn't, ma doesn't matter if they're on the ground. I know someone's going to start commenting, yeah, you need elevated radials. But listen, this is a simple antenna. We're trying to begin here. First vertical antenna, nice and easy. Just put four five or even a little longer 17 feet if you're an american uh counterpoise on the on the on the negative side the black pole of the banana clip or the the un, -un. up top a quarter wavelength I'll, I'll put a there's there's a formula to do that if you want to do it the uh the right way or the hard way whatever you want to call it there's a great website i'll put a link to it they've got a, a calculator and in the calculator they actually show the formula as well so you kind of learn from that I put together a cheat sheet. I've gone through all the bands, the middle of the SSB section that I operate on, and I use this cheat sheet uh, to build mine. So a real simple antenna to build. We're just going to put a quarter wavelength piece of wire up vertical, tape it to a pole, feed, feed point. I'm going to use a ballon. You can use just a simple banana clip. I'm going to use one counterpoise because I'm at the beach, and I one counterpoise right into the kissing the salt water is all I do. Mine's probably going to be 17, 18 feet long. Length doesn't matter. Get something on the ground. But um, this is an easy one to build. And I'm going to show you, hopefully, how effective this is. Now, bad conditions right now, I've seen, they don't look too great. Um, it's early morning. It's, it's I think it's, let's see, I can tell you right now, it's about 6.15. Sun's just coming up. So I'm going to build this antenna, and then we'll get on the air and see what it can do. Stick around. Here's the antenna set up. Um, we'll start at the bottom here. I am using the LDG one-to-one -one ballon. Not required. Like I said, you could use a banana clip. Um, a lot of people will say, why do you use a ballon? It's not a balanced antenna. Yeah, maybe, maybe not, but it's uh, kind of mirroring the bottom like a dipole. And you'd use a one-to-one -one ballon on a dipole. And to be honest, I've just had some great luck with it doing it that way. Um, I'm using my seven meter uh, DX Commander pole. You don't need one this big. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just not all the way up there. I'm probably, I know what I am, about two meters from the top um, with the wire. The wire I'm using because we're only running 20 watts. It's just, here it is, just some little 24 gauge, the green wire there, 24 gauge. And about every, uh, every couple meters, if you can see it here, it's dark, uh, electrical tape. To tape it up so that's Greenwich Bay leading out to Narragansett Bay I'm at Oakland Beach Warwick Rhode Island there's the antenna nice calm morning although conditions are not supposed to be that great uh, 50 feet of coax leading up to the Jeep there so there it is there's the antenna guys simple to build very simple to build easy to build and very effective let's see if we can work some DX this morning with it and inside here in the Jeep, I've got the uh, Zygu G90. So 20 watts, 20 watts of, uh, of the G90 out to the antenna here. And uh, we'll get on here and see if we can make some contacts here. I'll check SWR. I'll show you how good the SWR on this is first. Well, there you go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. One-to-one -one SWR. So this should be a good day. Good morning.
Uh, QSL, you are about a 4x3, four 4x3 three, four three as well. I don't think the band's quite open yet, but good to make contact with you there, my friend. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf. Oscar, I'll let you uh, I'll let you make some others, and maybe when the band opens later, we can make a better contact. 73, my friend. Contact. I have to work outside of Europe. Only people outside of Europe. Okay, Kilo 4 again. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf. Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, 59380. QSL, you're 59, number 1, 001. Number 1. Number 1. 0, 1, number 1, you're the first. Oh, number 1, okay, you come on. Thank you. Cheers, Mike, 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 QSL, you are 59, number two. Number two, thank you, appreciate it. 7-3. Delta, Delta, Victor, Delta, Florida. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Hey, Rob, I think the band's opening up. You're 59 here now. Oh, is that you there, Walt? Go ahead. Yeah, QSL, the band seems to be opening here up. I'm in Rhode Island, so getting you are coming up a lot better. About a 5'8 right now and sounding... Uh, Better than when we made contact earlier. I just wanted to kind of complete that call, if you don't mind. Yeah, Roger there, Bob. Yeah, you're about five and five now. Fifty-five, I can understand you. <laughs> the call was really emotional. I just heard, the, uh, heard part of your call sign and recognized your voice. So, uh, but, uh, oh, thanks for the five and nine there, uh, Bob. And, uh, I, I, saw, I, I saw your uh, recent review on the, on the radio, uh, the... Um, uh, the uh, the Q uh, was it Q900 I think it was I just can't remember it but uh, I want to be using that today uh, Kilo Four Oscar Golf Oscars to the Kilo Three Echo Yankee. Yeah, Rob, I thought about using that, but no, I'm using my G90. I am actually, I built a simple quarter wave uh, vertical antenna. I'm doing a video on it, and uh, I kind of want to show a new ham how easy it is to just stick a wire in the air, a resident 20, uh, you know, quarter wave for 20 meters, and how far and how amazing the, the contacts you can make. Here I am with 20 watts talking to you in Australia there, mate. So uh, kind of wanted to show that in the video. So thanks for coming back to me. Um, I was down there on the Southern Cross net. Uh, starting uh, getting a pile up there, starting to. But um, you are, I tell you what, you're probably the best signal right now I can see on the uh, waterfall and and here here on 20 meters there. Oh, okay, yeah, I understand. They're using the uh, uh, the G90. Uh, I think they're a good little radio, of course they are. Uh, they certainly. Uh, it's, it's, everyone that I've heard seems to sound pretty good. So uh, they do quite okay. And, you know, particularly it's. Uh, what is it, 20 watts? So that's, that's amazing there, Rob Wild. You know, you did the watts per kilometre uh, or the watts per mile. It'd be quite, uh, quite astounding. But uh, anyway, but, um, yeah, I hope you're having a good morning there. And, uh, yeah, our day's nearly over. Uh, it's, uh, it's gone 9 o'clock here on Sunday evening. So kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscars, so kilo 3, Echo Yankee. Yeah, it's uh, 7 a.m. here, just... just came seven um sun's now now up and it's a beautiful morning here really a beautiful morning i think we're going to be a little bit warmer than normal um kind of going through a little that last warm streak before we get into autumn here and uh, like i said i'm in rhode island so a little farther north than usual so i'm expecting it to be a little colder Hey, I'll let you make some other contacts. Uh, thanks for taking me again. I just wanted to, uh, like I said, I wanted to, the band was open, and I just kind of want to show that this antenna I built, uh, how well it'll do for sure, even with 20 watts. Of course, I've got that secret weapon, the uh, the, the counterpoise there kissing the salt water, but, um, yeah, it's it's still uh, it's still working well. And thank you so much, Rob. Uh, VK3 Echo Yankee, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscars. Cheers and beers, my friend.
Cheers. Bye-bye. Well, there you go. Classic <laughs> example of uh, the band opening. Uh, it was uh, when I first uh, made contact with Rob there, the first uh, contact. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was rough. But uh, then, um, you know, there's a contest. That contest you just heard me on is um, uh, Work All Europe. So it's European stations and people trying to work all of Europe. So there's quite a bit of that on it, which is kind of like for 20 meters right now. It's uh, it's good to make contacts back that way as well. Really just wanted to show the simplicity of this antenna, how easy it is to build and how amazing you can, it is. Now, I, I I'm just got that one counterpoise that's hooked up. It's I, with the, I said before, if you're a beginner, the counterpoise goes on the ground side. It's the RF ground, not to be confused with electrical ground. But I've got that one little counterpoise just out kissing the uh, the water there. And it's only about, I think it's probably uh, maybe five or six meters long. I didn't measure it. I just, just kind of laid it out until I could, could make it fit where I wanted to. This antenna works well, not just by salt water. You can build this thing and put a nice, you know, four or five radials on the ground, counterpoise wires, and lay it out, and it works really well. Um, I've got with my pole, I put a, a I, I slide, I, I hammer a piece of PVC pipe into the sand, take the bottom cap off the pole, and slide it down. That's one trick. Another thing I do at the beach with a smaller pole, or I, I've even done this in the backyard uh, it, in grass, is um, there's a, an umbrella, a beach umbrella spike that you can twist into the sand or into dirt, and then slide a, a pole in. You don't need a big pole. I'm using the seven meter uh, DX Commander pole here, but um, you don't need that pole per se to do it. You can do it with uh, with a five meter pole. Uh, uh, thin. I've used even on the beach. I've used a little thin um, five meter uh, crappie pole or squid pole, basically a fishing pole. Uh, they work well too. They work very good. And like I said. You don't need to use the ballon. I'm using the ballon. I think it gives it kind of a, a, a choke at the at the feed point, but um, you can just use a simple uh, banana clip. I've done that as well. Just hook the banana clip up at the feed point. Um, you know your driven element, your upper element to the uh, you know to the the red and uh, and the, put the coax in and off. You're off and running. I encourage you if you're new to ham ham radio and you're just getting started and you want a vertical, this is the one to make make to get started because it's so simple and easy. I put this thing up in like three or four minutes. Of course, I've built a lot of antennas, but it's not hard. It, it really isn't. Just uh, some electrical tape, wire cutters, and stick that thing on there. One pro tip too: I, I, I when you cut this length, add one extra inch on it or 25 millimeters because that's what you're going to strip. Um, to, to, as your feed point to wrap around. That doesn't count in the overall length of the antenna. So strip off that little 25 meter, uh, 25 millimeter or one inch, uh, end, uh, twist it around, curl it and put it on. And, and there you go. That's kind of, uh, how I do things. And, um, and it works well just for cutting, hacking and whacking. If you're going to make one that's permanent, maybe you might want to solder some type of fitting on the end or whatever. I built so many antennas, I don't have time for it. I just cut the wire, you know, twist it up, put it around the post, and, and let it happen. Hope I encourage you to get out and build antennas. It's the best, it's the most for me, for HF. It's it's the part of the hobby I really enjoy, uh, and it's, it's so much fun. And you can just experiment with so many different things. It gets you a good feel of um, what antennas do, you know, resonance and non-resonance and, and, and contacts and what have you. Anyway... Thanks for watching. Um, get out there and build some antennas. Until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.